Welcome to Sunday School Lesson at a Glance, a ministry of the Sunday School Publishing Board, where we focus on teaching, engaging, application, and learning for teachers and students. Now, I will share some teaching tips to use when teaching this week's lesson, November the 8th, entitled The Love Connection. Again, our focus is on teaching, application, engagement, and learning. This month's teaching tips are focusing on five P's, prayer, preparation, planning, presentation, and performance. We talked about prayer last week and how essential it is to our teaching. Prayer is also an essential component of our lesson preparation. It is imperative that we seek God's guidance when preparing to teach his word. The second P, preparation, is our focus this week. Preparation is everything we do to prepare to teach the lesson. Preparation involves our reading, uh, reading the Bible, uh, having a good study Bible, and reading different translations, uh, having study tools, a Bible dictionary, commentary, atlas. Um, our preparation involves our reading, our researching, and our study of the lesson. As you pray, read, study, and prepare your lesson, ask who, what, when, where, why, how questions. Asking these questions about the lesson will help you in your preparation of the lesson. Let's look at who. Asking the question who. Who is the author and who is speaking or who is the author speaking to? What? What are the main themes in this lesson? When? When was the time period and what was going on during the time this lesson was written? Where? Where is the lesson occurring? What region? Why? Why did the author write this lesson? And how? How does this lesson apply to today? Asking these questions are very, very important in your lesson study and preparation. These teaching tips and others are presented in my book, Effective Teaching Practices for 21st Century Christian Educators and can be purchased through the Sunday School Publishing Board. I'm now going to share some engagement activities that you can use when teaching this week's lesson. Discussion questions. Number one, what does godly fruit look like and give examples. So this is an activity that you can use as a whole group activity, as a small group activity, as a partner uh, activity, and a wonderful way to engage students in the lesson. Uh, discussion question number two, how does one remain connected to the vine? And uh, this would be a good use of an object to actually bring in branch and a vine and uh, have uh, some discussion on that connection. How does one uh, remain connected to the vine? And then number three, list benefits and blessings of being connected uh, to Christ. So listing the benefits and then listing uh, the blessings. Uh, the activity that you use should reinforce and teach the biblical truths of the lesson as well as contribute to the students being able to apply the biblical truths of the lesson to their everyday life. In closing, thank you for tuning in to Sunday School Lesson at a Glance. I hope these teaching tips are helpful to you as you prepare to teach and study God's Word. For additional information and resources, contact the Sunday School Publishing Board. We invite you to join us each week as we take a glimpse into the Sunday School lesson. Subscribe now.